Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Spadical, back to the channel, welcome back to another Duel Links video today. Mokuba Kaiba has finally appeared inside of Duel Links. Unfortunately, he is only in the Duel World, which is kind of disappointing. I think a lot of people were hoping for a standard unlockable Duelist, but he has got some really good rewards, so let's quickly go in and see what he's got. I'm not going to be using Pegasus, I'm going to be using a, a farming deck just for this first video uh, to see how it works. But he's going to be able to give us Dark Flare Dragon, which is really, really cool, really some, some awesome Dragon support in here. Uh, Divine Dragon Apocryph, which I hadn't actually heard of before this. Uh, Kidmodo Dragon, which we've seen some of the uh, AI duelists use already. Beacon of White, a nice support for Blue Eyes. Uh, Advanced Draw, pretty decent. I'm not sure, like, trade-in would have been better, but this is a close alternative. Uh, Lava Dragon as a rare. Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Dragon's Rage, D-Tribe, and the Dragon's Bead. So... I'm going to take a sip of water quickly because my voice, you can hear it, it's going. Ah, okay. So, in addition, there's also uh, the Duel Thorn still continuing, and there's also been level up rewards uh, for Duelists, so they've gone from 35 to 40. And there's a lot of decent cards in this set. Kyber's got more Blue Eye support, he has Blue Eye Shining Dragon, uh, Yugi gets Source of Dark Magic, Pegasus gets Toon Kingdom, quite a few uh, awesome things. Now, as always, with these first dual videos, we're going to try and go on with the uh, with the voiceover on, but unfortunately, I don't have that on. However, we are going to be farming today like no other. using Elements Unite because it is the easiest deck, I think, to uh, to build around. So, essentially, the strategy is going to be summon Gate Guardian in the first turn and then just hope and wait and see how things go because you you're going to need one... Uh, monster to tribute off for Relinquished, so you're going to need to keep your Crystal Seers or your Bubonic Vermins in your hand, or at least have one on the field. Uh, Thunder Dragon for deck thinning and to go into Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, and then you'll tribute the Relinquished and the Twin Headed Thunder Dragon to summon Blue Eyes, and then last turn you'll play your Piranha Army and buff it up with the uh, Blue Eyes and the Gate Guardian using Gift of the Martyr, and this should be an 8k farm. So let's go into this and see how well we do. Um, Again, this literally just came out, and I'm hoping that this deck list is legitimate, like the one that we got uh, yesterday from, or the other day from the uh, Japanese magazine uh, leak. Hopefully it's accurate, because uh, if it's not, then that's going to be a bit disappointing, uh, or a bit annoying at least, because obviously people have been trying to build decks already. And I'm going to want to put the audio on for Mokuba. I'll do it as soon as I can. Hmm... Okay, Shard Agreed, excellent. Nice one off the start. I really hate having the character lines on because it just slows down the game a ton, but I want to hear what Mokuba sounds like. And we know that Mokuba doesn't have anything other than the gate attack to stop attacks, so... Okay, Mystical Elf, that's, we know he had that. Come on. I... Oh, Princess Adina, or should I say, Mystical Elf? I'm not sure if that's Tara Jane Sands, but if it is, she's definitely doing uh, the Dark Side Dimensions version of Mokuba. It's definitely closer to that than to uh, the previous role of Mokuba she's had. But that was quite a nice uh, reference to to Duel Monsters, where. Mokuba and Princess Adina switch bodies in the uh, virtual arc. Excellent. So obviously we're going to want to try and catch up with our uh, deck deficit, so obviously we're going to be using our, our Shard of Greed, and I think that should be it, because if we draw into a Thunder Dragon then we can deck thin ourselves by two, and then we should be okay completely. We didn't, which is fine. Uh, of course, we're going to keep destroying Mokuba's monster because the only thing he can do is play um, Negate Attack to stop our attacks. He hasn't got anything to actually counter them, so he should from now on be like placing mods in defense mode and stuff. Yeah. And in doing so, we should be able to easily get our Destroy 10 Monsters bonus. Okay, there's our, there's our Trap Jammer, which we uh, 
We could play right now, but I think I'm gonna save it for the moment just because. Okay. That was a that was a nice line. I end my turn. That was a really nice line. It's my turn. I draw. I bet you've never seen this dragon before. Alexandrite dragon. No, not in this game we haven't. Because it's pretty ridiculously OP. Here we go. It's Your brother just gave you all the best cards. However, now that we know that uh, Negate Attack is gone, I believe he only had one in his deck. We're safe, we don't need that Trap Jam, of course I'm still going to keep it. But, again playing Birthright. Obviously trying to stall so that uh, he can get a Blowing White Dragon, I think. But then again, he probably wants to keep his field as full as possible just so he can avoid uh, any battle damage. Okay, what's our hand look like? Okay, 12. Okay, I'm, I'm going to play Fusion Gate because I don't think Mokub has anything that he can use to counter it. Just, we, we are going to need it at some point in the future. Now, the only issue is we need that bottom card of the deck to not be um, Blue Eyes. It can be anything but Blue Eyes, I think. Uh, so, if we join to our... Uh, what's it called? Crystal Seer, that's the one. If we join to Crystal Seer, then we'll be fine because we can, you know, search for that bottom card of the deck and make sure it's the one we want. Okay. Not sure why you're playing in attack mode, Mokuba. You know, I'm, I am going to just stomp you. Uh, okay, Windstorm of Attack, well, that's not bad at all. Um, I'm going to set the Trap Jammer. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, he doesn't have another negate attack. I'm sure it was only one. But I just want to, uh, just in case. Because we want to keep one Bebonic Vermin in our hand. Or at least, you know, be able to survive with some attacks. So maybe, maybe Windstorm was better. Okay. Okay, there's a Prawn Army. So we're good on that front. Now... I'm going to set Windstorm just because we can use it at any point. You know, it's, it's not a dead set. We can use it if we have to. We don't have to attack on a turn. Um, just need to get that card advantage. Okay, I'm going to put that list off because we, we won't need it. Okay, there's our Relinquished. So... We should be okay. I'm going to end and ditch out Obi-Wan Vermin, uh, just because I want to wait for us to get a Thunder Dragon. Oh my god. It's like a bad 4k media pun, but I love it, it's great. Okay, there's another Bubonic Vermin. Um, I'm actually going to attack into it. Because, you know, we've, we've got, there's that life point difference, we can survive it. But now, we are kind of screwed because we don't want to play anything. Um, we could set Black Illusion Ritual because that is the next spell card we're going to use. Oh. Nice, Lord of D. Play that flute. Okay. He's not playing the flute. Okay, there's our Crystal Seer. So let's set you face down, and and, and then end. Okay. So he's gonna gain what? Twelve hundred? Fifty? Yeah, not okay. Nine hundred. Just only two hundred or something per card. Oh, just per monster. Okay. Okay. Shard of greed. We don't need shard of greed. Uh, so. Gonna attack into it, and then I'm just gonna end and get rid of Shard of Greed. Because we will be going to one with Crystal Sir. Like we'll have the enough cards in our deck to just continue the game normally. Kyberman. 
Nice. Sweet. Can call out blue eyes from my hand. Not anyone can wield my big bro's best card. Blue eyes white dragon. The Mokuba lines are really well done. They are really well done. It is a shame that we didn't get a bigger boss monster for Mokuba, like his own. He's just resorting to using blue eyes, but I guess it makes sense. But just summoning in defense mode, okay. Okay, there's our blue eyes. So now we know we are 100% fine. Um, so. First of all, let's start with uh, with Crystal Seer. To get us to that one card. Okay, both Thunder Dragons. So what we're going to do is... We're going to get one to our hand. But we're not going to use its effect, because otherwise we'll not get the uh, cards on the brink for Mokuba, I think. So, right, so yeah, we'll activate Black Illusion Ritual. I activate a ritual spell. To uh, get our Relinquished, you know, by getting rid of our, uh, our Crystal Seer. Okay, so now we're good on that front. Um, I don't think Mocha will be able to do anything else. I think she has another... Okay, no, she only has one... Not she. He only has one blue eyes. So we're now fine to go with Windstorm. I didn't expect this to happen, to be fair. This is just an alternative. So now we don't really need to summon blue eyes, but of course we uh, we could always do with the extra bonus points. So Relinquished, again, going to take control of that blue eyes. So we've now got a 3,000 point monster on the field. And now we're all set to basically just continue the duel and just keep ending our turns. And hopefully we should be uh, okay. I hope. Okay, Alexandra Dragon. Another Thunder Dragon. So, now we can go for the Fusion Summon, actually. I completely forgot about that. I was about to panic. But no, we can go for the Fusion Summon. We can summon out our Twin Edit Thunder Dragon. And then of course we're gonna we're gonna summon blue eyes. Just because we can. Just to get those prismatic bonus points. Everyone should have prismatic blue eyes, so it should be an easy uh, 300 points or whatever the bonus is for summoning prismatic. And now we're set. Because now we can literally just wait out these last two turns, and our field is now perfectly set. Next turn we'll draw into Secret Pass from the Treasures, and the turn after that we will draw into our final um, Thunder Dragon. That's the one. It's my turn. I draw. Yep, there's our secret pass. Just attack with Gate Guardian just to get some uh, the bonuses, and then our turn is complete. We are now fully set up, fully prepared to go for the uh, the huge amount of damage. Should be fifteen thousand one hundred, I believe, something like that, uh, which will get us eight k. And this is pretty consistent. Of course, there is a little bit of leeway if you don't have um, as many glossies, but I think the amount of glossy points used shouldn't matter. I'll have a look at the end of this, because you should literally just need a ritual monster and a fusion monster and then a prismatic tribute summon. And then you should be fine. So let's go to Gate Guardian to power up our Piranha. And then let's use another Martyr to get rid of our blue eyes and power up Piranha again. Of course, we didn't need the face down uh, negate trap, or it's called trap jammer, because uh, he already used his one negate attack early in the duel. Now I'm going to attack directly. And there we go, Mokuba Kaiba has been beat. Let's see what score we get. This duel, we did win. Notify your next of kin. Dunno. Awesome. Mokopa's pretty easy to farm, as you can see. So, uh, I think someone that told me in the, in the comments, advanced draw is busted. Right, let's see what we got. 25. So you also only get, like, those for 
just as, as default, and we're getting some pretty bad wards. Okay, so we got 8.8k. Now, destroy 10 mods is easy, and we got 600 points from playing Prismatic and a Glossy card, so essentially, you should be able to get 8k 100% of the time with this deck. No, no qualms, no things about it. If you don't have any Glossies, or if you don't have any Prismatics even, you should be able to get 8k 100% of the time, which is absolutely insane for a Legendary Duelist deck farming video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, of course, let me know your thoughts on the Emoka Bakaiba event in the comment section down below. Of course, the Dual Meter event is still running for the next uh, two days, I believe, so keep trying to get those uh, rewards. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.